Be my protector, O God, mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To begin our celebration today, let's just prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacrament by taking a moment of quiet reflection, looking for those moments of grace and offering God thanksgiving for his gift, seeking God's forgiveness for our own sins. Lord Jesus, he came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the letter of St. James. Know this, my dear brothers and sisters, everyone should be quick to hear slow to speak, slow to anger, for anger does not accomplish the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filth and evil excess and humbly welcome the world, the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your soul. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his own face in a mirror. He sees himself, then goes off and promptly forgets what he looks like. But the one who peers into the perfect law of freedom and perseveres, and is not a hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, such a one shall be blessed in what he does. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, his religion is vain. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. The response is, who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who shall live on your holy mountain? He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who lends not his money at usury, and accept no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Alleluia, alleluia. The one who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged him to teach him, to touch him. Jesus took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, Jesus laid his hands on the man and said, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then Jesus laid hands on the man's eyes a second time, and the man saw clearly. 
His sight was restored and he could see everything distinctly. Then Jesus sent him home and said, do not even go into the village. The gospel of the Lord. So we're working our way through the epistle of St. James. Um, uh, we started on, on Monday with James pointing out that uh, God is not a tempter. He's not the one dangling uh, evil things in front of us, but that comes from someone else that uh, God is not uh, that person um, or that entity. Uh, yesterday, he told uh, his, his message was uh, just who this Jesus was, that, that he is uh, the son of God. He is the second person of the Trinity um, and that uh, good things come from him. And, and today we get to the very heart of, of uh, the ep epistle of St. James. Um, he starts out giving us some good advice, um, the advice you might find uh, in a management course or a leadership course. Um, you should be quick to hear and slow to speak. Um, uh, some of us who have big mouths, we blurt things out before we even think, let alone listen to what someone else is saying. He says, be slow to anger. Because anger does not accomplish the righteousness of God. Uh, it tells us to put away uh, the, the evil things that we do to have a, a change of heart, to have a conversion. And then he comes to the, perhaps the most important thing that uh, we get from the Gospel of St. James. He tells us that once we've learned where good things come from and where evil things come from, and we've established who this Jesus is, and we understand that he is uh, the Savior sent by God and that he is, in fact, God himself. Um, once you've accepted that and you make that belief, do something about it. Um, he says you have to, if you're going to have faith, faith has to compel you to do something. You can't just sit there saying, oh, oh, Jesus is God, fine, and not let that do anything with your life. Um, he says, you've got to be a doer. Um, uh, he says, you know, don't be the guy who looks, looks at his face in a mirror and then he turns away, forgets what he looks like. Um, uh, faith has to, to uh, for faith to be real, it has to compel you to action. Um, it has to compel you to do things. Um, uh, what kinds of things? Well, he says, you know, uh, care for orphans, care for widows and their affliction. Widows and orphans were the least of the people in, in Israel. They were they were without any other any other means that, uh, to uh, take care of them. And, and in, in doing so, I tell you, take care of of everyone. Um, uh, uh, but your 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 faith in Jesus, your faith in God, compel you to to look for people in need and help them. Um, uh, it can be something as simple as saying a prayer for somebody. It can be uh, something as simple as greeting someone and smiling at them when they come in in the morning. Um, it, it might mean, uh, you know, giving some money to a panhandle. It might mean contributing to a charity. It might mean volunteering uh, at, at some place. Um, uh, the possibilities are limitless. Uh, but the focus is the same. Uh, you know, as Nike says, just do it. Um, uh, go out and put your faith into action. Um, for that is the way that the kingdom of God will be established. That is the way the kingdom of God will be built. That is the way that uh, uh, we change uh, creation back to what God had intended it to be. Gather our prayers and bring them before our God. Begin with a prayer for peace in our world. Ask that God send his spirit of peace to the minds and hearts of all men and women. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the church in gratitude for God's word and God's sacraments. Pray in gratitude for 
the works that uh, the church facilitates um, throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord pray for our nation, ask that God bless those burdened with governance with his wisdom. God, watch over uh, those charged with our safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord pray for our own ministry of Catholic education, continuing the work of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord pray for uh, members of our community in need. We think uh, of Cheryl's mom, Janice Buckingham, we think of Connor Regan, Mike Buell, and Mindy Buell, um, all of those in need of God's healing graces. We pray to the Lord. Lord for your intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we come before you bringing your hopes and desires. These we've given voice, others we've held silently in our hearts, but all of them we offer to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It is the gift of the earth, the work of human hands, that we come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual gift. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. And may it become for, for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created us, so through him with great goodness you formed us anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from this. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. In 
the mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Walter, our administrator, Bishop-elect Jeffrey, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and Francis of Assisi, St. Clair, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, let's raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin. And safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a greeting of God's peace. Lamb of God. Okay. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
They ate and had their fill. What they craved, the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Church bells.